guys, it's Queen Gija, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 15 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Excuse me, oh my god. Baby, go make lipstick. Ah! He, she is the pretty care version of Comey son. It's just got to be perfect. It's got to be grand. I mean, it's got to be something good. It's got to be something that everyone likes. See, and this is why, like, sometimes, you know, it, it is always a little hard to cook for everybody because you're like, hmm, what is something that everyone likes? Like, me, I, I, I've said this before, like, I can cook really good spaghetti, really good nachos, love my nachos, um... I can cook really good, um, pancakes, yeah, really good breakfast. Um, I haven't had this in a while, but I, I, I can still cook it from memory. Um, my homemade crunch wraps, <laughs> instead of me eating Taco Bell's crunch wraps, I always make my own now because it's so much better in it and I can add like as much as I want to um Greek wraps which are so good see I'm just making my four o'clock in the morning and I'm hungry <laughs> no, not like that. God, he's so cute. Like, oh. Once again, he gives me Mamoru vibes. And literally, because, like, oh. The first crush Mamoru. Like, oh. Everyone who watched Sailor Moon, you all had a crush on Mamoru. You either had a crush on Mamoru or you had a crush on, um. Haruka. Duh. <laughs> That, or you had, like, a crush on, like, um, Mamoru's Four Nights. Yeah.
That one with the bunny looked cute. Distractions. <laughs> oh, did you cook something for cinnamon? Yes, the hills are alive. Freaking sound of music. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh. Her mom's pretty. You're still screwing this up like, oh. Oh, that looks so good. Made a line. <laughs> She probably likes a lot of TV shows, you know. Pizza. Oh. Aww. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, the stretch of the cheese. But there's no music. No. She 
He's trying. Yui. dog. You know, it would have been funny. They could have did with this episode. You know how, like, um, Bus Girl Kirara from, uh, Go, uh, Go Princess loved donuts. Oh, if they had, like, a donut shop just to reference her. Oh! And you take time to enjoy those feelings. Like, basically, long story short, always be in the moment. Something tells me her chauffeur is going to be the target one of this week. I mean, because it's kind of obvious he is literally a main focus in the episode, Majorne. Which, of course, makes him a target.
Oh, I thought it would have been a hot minute for those three to arrive. Well, let me guess, you know, Black Pepper is somewhere. He, he hanging out somewhere just waiting for his time. <laughs> I mean, it would, it's obvious, but probably not. Are you going to... Pro oh! I don't even think speed will work. Are you going to suck them into your filter? Oh, nope. It's ground. Because <laughs> of course it's making coffee. Oh! And a funny how he waits until almost like the last minute to show up. Mm. Texting my mind. So like, oh.
Oh no, he showed up. <laughs> Damn, I kind of want a sandwich. Four in the morning, and I want a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. Hot dog. Oh, no, pizza. <laughs> no, there's your answer. Okay, all right, Miss Kokone. This, I think for her right now, this was a really, I don't want to say perfect episode, but it was a very good masterpiece or very similar to a 100% masterpiece good behind episode of character development. Like, oh, they're like, they're really going in on her episodes. Like, oh, mm. oh, it's like, oh my God. Um, I love her so much. Like, oh, she's stealing the show, like, so freaking much. And it's only the three of them. Well, you know, Miss Little Cure Finale is over there at home, you know, still sleeping. And, you know, hopefully she comes soon. We hope. Because I think she's supposed to, she, she's got to be here in the next couple of weeks. I don't think they're going to drag it really long into, like, fall. Which would be weird. I mean, they normally do that. But at the same time, like, I feel like now... Like I said, they're doing it a lot earlier, so I don't really know yet. And it, so it should be coming up soon. It's just, you know, the waiting game. But yeah, I love the fact that, you know, her chauffeur, Todoroki, was like, yeah, being in the moment, that's the one important thing. It's not always about, like, you know... <laughs> when so many people are asking you so many questions and you're trying to get things out and you can't enjoy the food and stuff. It's just, you know, making time for everything all at once. And once again, being in that moment with someone and enjoying it and making memories with people to last a lifetime. Don't run, oh. Okay, so hold up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this. Little Miss Ron Ron, she need, you know, her girlfriend, Miss Aoyuki, <laughs> Miss Cure Grace, <laughs> Miss Hibiki to come up all in here and just, you know, sprinkle a little bit of that love between me and Hibiki. Like, oh, we need it. Like, oh, uh, God, you guys don't know how much, like, I literally wish that this show, because, I mean, this is the second show second or third show that like features one or two like i think what four four seiyus from the sinfo gear series and they're not all in a series together or a season together and the one thing that i really wish that toy animation would still do with the pretty Cure series is still have the entire roster of pretty Cure all in the all-stars movie together but I get it. We've talked about this like a gazillion times. Even when it was like kind of really first announced between Kitty Kitty Pretty Kyle Mode to freaking I think Hagato and how they were like gonna change everything and everybody was kind of pissed about that. Some people are still kind of pissed about that because it's just like you you want to see everybody interact. And now we're getting it where it's like okay. Here's the newest group, and then here's somebody, here's someone from the past, and it's like, you want that, and you enjoy that, but at the same time, you want to see everyone from Futariwa all the way to the most recent series all interact with each other, because those moments that you get to see in the All-Star movies are, like, the greatest things, and so it just, it really sucks when you watch the newest All-Star movie, and you're only getting the most three recent up until when the newest seasons comes and the new the the oldest group out of the three gets kicked off and then you know they're placed on like 
a stage of a cardboard cutout with the rest of them. But, I mean, you know, it could happen one day. I feel like they're probably going to save that for the next anniversary milestone, which would be, I think, the, the 25th or the 30th anniversary for Pretty Hair in a Nutshell. And I think that's when they'll have probably really every single Pretty Hair um, make an appearance in, while, uh, in one big giant movie once again. Because, I mean, you want to do it right. I mean, yeah, you did it for, you know, the TV special of it, but at the same time, we need a movie. I need an hour, at least an hour to two hour movie with every single pretty here. Or they can be like Power Rangers with that one time where they had like literally every Red Ranger, except it would be every pink pretty here, which I think what the still for the every pink one, like the mile, the number is high. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I really felt Coconut was just, you know, since this was an episode all about her, she shined the most. And I think. You know, it says a lot about her. I mean, I still love learning about her every single week and how she loves trying and sometimes maybe she tries a little too much. And so sometimes she doesn't really, you know, isn't really in the moment sometimes, but that's okay. I've met people like that. There have been times where I've been like that. But yeah, like, I, I just, I love the fact that this week Todoroki and the, the moral of the story and the lesson was is being in the moment and sometimes still enjoying that with everyone else because you know food and being friends and hanging out together and eating lunch together that is the moment and that is something that you really personally have to enjoy because you know one day you're just gonna be remembering that and you're gonna have like so many different memories and you don't want to think like I said later on in life being like hmm what if this or what if that you know but other than that guys that is my reaction for you towards episode 15 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day to the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 16. Bye, guys.